again this is Robert Veach here and this is my video review of a wireless FM microphone system by a company called Comica and it is sold by a Amazon seller called VC Mall and this is the model CVM-WM100 it's a professional omnidirectional wireless uh, microphone system with a lavalier microphone included. It comes in this very nice case, zipper with two sections. When you unzipper the first section, you have the instruction user's manual, and inside this manual, it tells you what, how to operate all the various functions and how to hook it up to your camera that has a microphone input. Um, and how to use the various uh, cables that comes with it and how to understand the display. We're gonna go over all of that. And on this first section right here, it has three compartments. The first compartment has a, uh, the actual microphone, the lavalier microphone with a nice long flexible cable and a gold plated a 3.5 millimeter connector and the microphone itself with a very nice clip on there, a very tight clip. And you could take the screen filter off and you could put on this included wind muff screen. And I highly recommend you use this outside because these work really well to minimize the wind noise. We're going to demonstrate that also. And then in the center section it has a cable that will convert the 3.5 millimeter output from the receiver to an XLR balance connection so that you could send it to if your camera has that type of interface some of the professionals cameras do and in the center section also has your audio 3.5 millimeter cable to go into your camera your DSLR whatever camera that has a microphone input and then it includes these two one quarter 20 connector blocks and that allows you to put it on the base of your flash mount on your DSLR camera and then on the other side of this you can put it on the transmitter or the receiver unit. I'm going to demonstrate that. And on the right hand pocket there are two clips that will uh, mount onto the units and these will allow you to um, hold the units on your shirt pocket or pants pocket or whatever you want to clip this on. We'll demonstrate how that gets installed. So inside, once you go past this first section, the center section, then you go to the middle section and you have the two units, the receiver and the transmitter. And they're in this nice protective foam so that you could uh, go to the field with this and have the units protected. Now we're going to close this up and we're going to uh, go over some of the specifications. It has 45 UHF channels and you should get an effective range in an open field of about 328 feet or 100 meters. That will be reduced down to uh, almost half or 60% of that if you have obstacles indoor, things like that. So my guess is you would get about 150, 160 feet indoors. Um, you have an adjustable RF signal level. There's two levels, high and low. Has a, a lattice LCD display with a backlight on here. Has real-time audio um, status monitor. And there's 16 steps of volume adjustments, which we're gonna show how to do that. Um, and the specs of each unit are as follows. You have the, uh, let's go over the transmitter first. And it's on a new frequency now. It's on a frequency of 520 megahertz to 534 megahertz. They got new FCC approval for that frequency. And both of them are on that. And you can change those uh, different channels on there to uh, cover the channel that you get the uh, clearest reception on, essentially. And... Um, the uh, transmitting power can, is, uh, which is 10 milliwatts or 30 milliwatts. And the signal to noise ratio was greater than 65 decibels on both units. 
there was only a 20 millisecond audio delay from when you say a syllable to when it gets received and that's very very minimal you won't even notice that um, they both use 3.5 millimeter audio plugs on the top and uh, you can see on the receiver it has a headphone output and then it has the output where you can go to using the XLR cable or the regular audio cable to your DSLR camera or whatever camera you want to use. Um, the audio distortion on both of these units is less than a half a percent. Um, and again, there's 48 channels that you could use on this. The, um, it takes AA batteries and I have some brand new uh, AA batteries. That's the size you'll need. And we're gonna see how to install the batteries right now. Okay, so to install the batteries, I'm looking at the receiver first. And on the bottom of the unit, it has these two pins that you push in. And what happens is this little holder slides out. It can only go in one way, so you can't put it in the wrong way. And then you take your AA batteries and you want to put it into this holder. And they have a little symbol on there which shows you which way to go. The positive goes that way. And if you look at the other side, it shows the negative going that way. Like that. So you have positive and negative and then they're connected in the back here which makes three volts. And then this should slide right in place. And then those little clips Right there, they lock in place. And let's do the same thing for the transmitter unit. Compress those two little half moon shaped collars on there. And let's put in two new batteries in the correct direction again. The negative going this way and the positive going out. And negative going that side here and the positive going out. Creating a negative and positive. And again, it only goes in one way. Let's push that in right there and get the clicking sound. And now the units are ready. Now another thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to install these on the back right here. You can see that it has a profile shape like that. And you wanna have the side that's got the little part curved up to be pointing outward like that on the unit itself and that allows you to put it into a pocket. And there's little holes right there on each side and a little retaining slot. So you essentially want to just take that piece right there and uh, flex it so it goes into that little hole like that. Then go to the other side and repeat that process. And once it goes in that hole, then it is on. You can see right there. And then it provides tension and a nice long area of the metal to clip it onto whatever you're going to use this on. And I talked about these mounts and um, on the bottom of each one of these units is a quarter 20, which is a typical size used in cameras. And this will go into that and then allow you to tighten it into the unit and also go into the camera. I'll show you that later. I want to point out for this uh, field test, I'm going to use the special uh, microphone cover, the muffin cover, muff cover, and uh, it just simply, the microphone pushes right in. You remove the foam filter first, and like I mentioned, this is uh, the way to go when you're doing anything outside. It looks weird, but believe me, these things work incredible for reducing wind noise. The difference is very noticeable. I have the unit in my pocket with the uh, low frequency filter off on channel one. And in the distance, you can see uh, the first fire hydrant there on the left. That's uh, 300 feet. So we'll see how far it uh, goes. SLR camera, Canon, and you can see the unit is mounted on the top of the camera. So I'm going to walk and test it. 
Okay, now it's very windy out here, and uh, you can see that this microphone's doing a pretty decent job keeping the the wind noise down. If I had the other simple foam filter on there, it would uh, be totally unusable audio. So I'm approaching the 50 foot point, which is about right here. This is approaching the 100 foot point, maybe 110 feet or so. 150 foot point. This is about three quarters of the 300. Testing one, two, three. I don't know if it's still picking the signal up. We're approaching the 300 foot point. Some motorcycle going by me. Here we are, we're at the 300 foot point. I don't know if it's receiving any signal at this point, but this is 300 feet away. Testing one, two, three. I'll walk a little bit to the left. Testing one, two, three. Walk a little bit to the right. Testing one, two, three. So what's my overall opinion about the Comica CVM-WM100 48 channel wireless microphone system. Well, as you can see, I demonstrated how well it worked. I went 300 feet on high power, and even on the lower power setting, it went about 300 feet, and it still wasn't that bad. Just broke up a little bit, as you expect. I would recommend that you keep it at the low power setting, unless you're gonna go beyond 200 feet or so to save battery power. But I love the system. You got your transmitter receiver, this you saw work beautifully in the wind today. Got your microphone right here with gold-plated plugs, cables, the clips that clip on, and the adapters for your DSLR camera and your XLR um, cable so that you could uh, take the output of the receiver and feed it into an XLR balance system. So this is a great deal. And I also want to mention there's a one-year technical support and a one-year warranty on this product. Um, from the manufacturer and in this uh, little user manual they do have a page talking about that warranty information and you can get contact information from that uh, manual so I'm gonna give this product a full five-star rating on my channel I hope this video review helped you with your buying decisions thanks for watching